Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. Today I will show you how I changed the DPF differential pressure sensor. The error that occurred was P0473. The differential pressure measured by the sensor was negative. The part number is 07690605-1B. I bought a replacement sensor with part number 02810060082. The location of the sensor is very accessible. Enjoy watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Like the video and you can also use the thanks button if you appreciate the work done on this channel. P0473 exhaust pressure sensor 1, signal 2 high, is identified as an electrical problem related to the exhaust system back pressure sensor circuit. This code appears when the ECU detects a wrong voltage reading from the exhaust system back pressure sensor circuit. Use Google for more information about this error code. The sensor is located between the DPF and the coolant expansion tank, a very accessible location. The original part from my car was labeled as 07690605-1B. It is connected to the DPF via two silicon hoses, one before the DPF and one after the filter. By measuring and comparing the difference in pressure, the sensor can estimate the amount of diesel particulate matter or soot that is trapped in the filter and can request the ECU to start the DPF regeneration process. The pressure difference measured by my sensor was a negative one, at first smaller, then bigger and bigger, in the end ECU showed error P0473, at first rarely after which more and more often. My DPF has exceeded the normal oil ash volume at which it is recommended to change it, but it still works normally on the car. It regenerates between 400 to 600 kilometers. Bosch replacement part cost me about 25 euros. Here is a list of different manufacturer codes for this sensor. The shape is almost the same, the original one being thicker where the screw hole is placed. I removed the plug and unscrewed the holder on which it is attached. Then I unscrewed the screw that holds the hoses tight. I remove the screw that keeps the sensor attached to the holder. I got out the two clamps that hold the hoses stuck on the sensor with my straight hose clamp pliers. and I twisted the hoses with pliers so I could take them out of the sensor pipes. I mounted the new sensor back in the reverse order.
As I already told you, the only difference between the sensors is the thickness in this area. That's why this screw is screwed in more, but it doesn't bother me at all. After everything was put back in place, I reset the value of the G450 sensor with the VCDS. On the engine module, coding 2, I put in the box the code 30605 and I pressed, do it. After the module accepted the login code, I turned off the power supply for at least 30 seconds. No error occurred, and the differential pressure measured by the G450 sensor was in the parameters. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like the video if it was helpful. Subscribe to my channel, use the thanks button if you want. You can also visit my website www.rohdvest.ro where you will find interesting things. In the next video I will show you how I managed to fix an overboost problem at a Skoda Octavia 2. See you next time.